Hey everybody, Bagpuss asked if he could do the intro today, so I'm going to let him do that real quick, and then I will get to the topic. Say man, you're looking to build some muscle man? That's good man, that's real good. You don't come to the right place then. Look at that form, look at that form, respect it. Bagpuss, man you can't do that, you're going to get a suit. You know Kevin and Keith have that shit copyrighted. Put you back up here. And put Grumpy Cat back up here with you. You're gonna knock your girlfriend off. All right, today I wanna to talk to you guys just shortly about artificial sweeteners and some of the myths that are out there. I was only able to dig one study up, again, real quickly, which I'll link below, but I've seen several done this year because there's a big interest in artificial sweeteners because all of these jackasses are out here trying to tell you that they spike insulin as though insulin spikes had anything to do with body fat because of the sweet taste and all sorts of issues related with it to why artificial sweeteners might be making it more difficult for people to lose fat or causing people to gain fat. The reality is the studies that are coming out actually looking at it in the human body using blood work and other stuff are finding that these artificial sweeteners do not affect gastric emptying in the stomach, how fast it contents clear the stomach. They don't affect blood sugar. They do not affect insulin response at all. They do not affect glucagon response. So all of these claims that are being made about how they might induce changes in body fat or cause issues with weight gain or stalling weight loss, when we study it, none of these things actually happen in the body. It's just make-believe stuff that a few doctors made up as possible hypotheses that have gone into the media and caused a bit of alarmism over the last few years. But the reality is artificial sweeteners do not actually affect any of these things in your blood when we actually check it. And it's not to say there aren't other potential issues that we might find with them over time, but their actual effects on things like insulin, insulin response, glucagon, how fast contents empty your stomach are not issues. They are perfectly fine for people cutting. They have no calories unless some of them have actual patterns added in, which sometimes they do. So you do have to keep up with the calories in those but the actual artificial sweeteners themselves are fine. They seem to have the same effect as water. When you mix them with water and you have people drink water versus the water sweetened with artificial sweeteners, they see zero differences in the blood work. So continue to drink your Coke Zero or your Diet Dr. Pepper on your diet or on your cut. It should be perfectly fine. All right, guys, so that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative and I will talk to you next time. But let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. Look at that. Look at that form. It's all hard and vascular like a cock.